This tutorial will explain how to calculate the offset measurements from the spar to the antenna on which it is mounted. An essential part of calculating the correct positions of utilities is setting the offset from the spar to the ground position of the utility pole or tripod. Familiarize yourself with the spar's own local reference frame. First, remember that the SPAR's black power button defines the forward direction. The SPAR's coordinate system is right-handed. That means that moving in the forward direction means positive x. Moving backward means negative x. When you're facing forward, moving right means positive y, and moving down means positive z. On the offset screen, You'll always be asked to calculate the offset in XY coordinates of the base to antenna. The base is the spar, measured from the middle of the black handle. The antenna is the tripod, range pole, or cart to which the spar and GNSS rover are attached. When a spar is mounted with the power button facing directly away from the antenna, like this, the offset measurement for X will be a negative value. This is because the movement from the base bar to the antenna is backwards, negative. The y value will be zero because there is no lateral offset from the antenna. If a spar is mounted to the side of the antenna, as on a cart, the offset measurement will be a positive or negative y value, and there is no x offset. In this image, since forward is the direction of the power button, the movement from the base bar to the antenna is left, negative. You'll also have to enter the spar height on the offset screen. This is measured from the bottom of the pole to the middle of the black handle and does not require a negative or positive value. When using one spar, it is not necessary to hold the spar perfectly vertically. However, note that a tilted spar could make offset calculations more complicated in dual spar mode. 